someone in the chat room, Ariel, wanted to know, and I just, I don't know, but I said I'd ask. So uh, Ariel wanted to know if you can bring one of the Egyptian energies on the show. Uh, is that something you do oh. that you would want to do? Well, Sekhmet is, seems to be front and center. She's just so happy to be seen and to be talked about. Um, she's been really, it's a fascinating thing. I've noticed more and more of my clients coming forward and telling me, Amira, how come I'm seeing cats? So many cats and tigers and lions. And they're, they're just, whether it's videos or someone's talking about them, there just seems to be a lot of cat energy lately coming through. So let's see what Sekhmet might have to say. It's really funny because the person that asked that later on said, and if Sekhmet or anyone else has something to share. Yeah, I'm seeing Sekhmet. He wants to say that. Not only that, but there's a portal in the sanctuary, and the black cat just went there, and she's laying there with her nose down, resting, right on the portal. And she is always right at my side in this room. So her energy is coming through stronger and stronger, and I'm really starting to feel it's like my tail's wagging or flipping, you know? It's like tap, 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 tap. And what she's saying is, Almighty Ones, you are listening and following your heart with the ears on a new vibrational frequency that has yet to completely reveal itself. It's as if your ears and your refined level of connecting with the other realms has not yet been totally aligned. And in this process, the communications is not always smooth. I hope that came through clear enough because I'm just pure channel. (laughs) Okay. It did. Yeah, I think that did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And look at, Look at Luna. I Luna know. is just like, oh that my is, God, what is, is going on? So bizarre, Amira, because there's a black cat in here named Luna, and she is not acting the way she normally does. She is actually sitting in one spot and is like totally content. Well, my belly right now just feels like a burning ball. Like her energy is coming through so strong. Somebody's looking for some healing. And this is a healing energy that's coming through me that's shooting out. And she's talking about the anxiety and the lack of peace in somebody's mind or the anxiety perhaps we were talking about earlier. This energy wants to be dissolved, resolved, and um, expelled. Um, This is power center, the power center, there's there's individuals, whoever's listening to this right now, is building an energy field to take an, another step, the next step into, it's like being in a shadow version of yourself self, and then stepping into the real aspect of you. Like you can do it just like that. And for anybody that's asking, how do I get on my path? That's the step. That's the first step. And you can just sort of play act it right now. Act like take one step and then step into your the full version of you. The now yeah. version. Okay. I think a lot of times we make it way more complicated because we <laughs> analyze the piss out of stuff. Yep. And think that our mind is going to give us the solutions yeah. and it's not. Yeah. Oh, such a sweet message. Thank you. Um, Sekhmet came to me years ago in one of my meditations. She's showing this example right now. So she was guiding me. We were walking around a mountain, and it was a spiral path right on the edge. You know, like if you look down, it's really scary. And she kept walking and walking, and there were bigger and bigger boulders. And I'd walk around them, and I'd keep walking around them until I couldn't. There was a boulder that was so big that completely blocked the path. And she stepped right into the boulder and passed through it. And I stopped in front of the boulder. And she said to me, step through the boulder. Become one with the boulder. And that's where we're at right now in terms of what's my next step, what's my life, or even what's the obstacle. Merge right into it. Well, 
Okay. Somebody, Ariel, just said, okay, she's officially awesome in my book. <laughs> <laughs> she gets a high five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> I I do not think um, that too long is going to go by and we're going to start having you on um, more frequently. That could be. That could very well be. <laughs> no, spir spir Spirit of Sekhmet wants us to know that we have many gifts and many gifts that have not yet been earthly uh, uh, manifested, that we're stepping into versions of ourself way beyond what we can perceive or conceive of in this moment. But having the courage to be open to receive the light and a higher frequency uh, requires us to pay attention to our body and let go of some old rules that have kept us stuck or limited. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow. That is awesome. Now she's zonked out. I know. Luna's so weird. out, out that like is. a light. Watching the animals here lately has just been a joy. It's Can, like, wow. What, um, what is it that maybe people get so busy in their busyness um, that they actually forget to stop and, and look down or look up and notice small things that would be a good indicator that we're in a massive shift right now, but we're so busy being busy that we're not noticing until the busyness slaps them on the side of the head and there can't be. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> and unfortunately, it, it seems like humans want to do it their way. And until they surrender, when they've had, you know, the cosmic roadblock put in their way, will they stop trying to think they're in charge? Yeah. Well, kind of like when you got told that one night, ah, oh, yes. The humans, they're the stubborn ones. Yes. It was uh, it was during the Lion's Gate. Yeah. And we yeah, were still up on the mountain. Yeah. And Alan and I were just like, something amazing is about to happen. And we went the whole day. And I was like, you know, it just doesn't feel any different. Let's go lay down. And at that point, automatically, altered state, here we go. Um, and these two beings were pulling me up. And they would only pull me up to the waist. And I said, why won't you pull me the rest of the way up? And they're like, because that and um, what they said was really interesting because the lower part of your body is dumb. And yeah. I went, were, what? Yeah, the and were, second and third chakras, right? It's all about right, the right. kind of control and our emotions that get in the way. And yeah. And they said, um, oh, yeah, that's right. These are the stubborn ones. <laughs> and I came out and told Alan, and he goes, stubborn? How dare they call us stubborn? <laughs> <laughs> we know better. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> yeah, smack, smack. <laughs> but it was just this awesome experience, and we're looking as a human being and waiting for this, like, epiphany, this miracle moment when we were experiencing it. And when we went to sleep, we got to see it was actually going on on another plane of existence. We mm -hmm. just couldn't see it with our 3D eyes. And that segment is smiling at me right now. And you too. She's like a little wink and a, her whiskers are sort of, you know, smiling. And she says, Lion's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's all a joke on us, isn't it? Somebody else said they just had a black cat run across um, one house over. Um, was a different house yesterday. So it reminds me to continue to be still. Yeah. To go within, to listen, and to step into the obstacle, whatever they're facing. Not like, I guess you could say, you know, stop resisting it when you just stop the fight, the shadow boxing, stop trying to arm wrestle it or be right. Just surrender to it, whatever you, it appears to be a struggle. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, um, I have just a phrase that I want to say and let's see if Sekhmet will give us an answer. 
we've been telling people if they're in their head, they're dead. It just feels like we're overanalyzing things. <laughs> I'm seeing a picture of a sarcophagus, like the person's buried in this tomb. <laughs> 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 All the treasures, but you see, they believe in life after life after life. So there's a process of us dying, but there's a process of stepping into this new life. So I'm getting this whole sort of reincarnation slash what you think is life is not even the life. I'm sorry, I don't think it, it's, it's not really answering your um sort of taking it into a different spin, but she's trying to show us that there is no death. <laughs> no, that's fine. Right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, because, I mean, that's one of the things we believe as well. I mean, this is just one aspect. Yeah, this is know? where we get to be in a physical body and experience this earth school, which um, even if we're having horrific times, we're still learning from this. And... I still believe that there are people that would line up to have a physical experience. Oh, yeah. They're trying all the time to come into our bodies and <laughs> occupy us <laughs> just yeah. because this is a privilege being human. Right? Wow, okay. We get to taste food. Sure we get to of, smell. Uh, we get to taste food. We get to smell. Yeah. We get to have physical intimacy with another person. We get to experience rain. Everything. I danced in the yeah. rain about a week ago. Yeah. Um, how many people go outside when it's raining and not thunder and lightning, of course, but go outside and just dance in the rain and act like a little kid? Yeah. Well, and childlike amusement and playfulness is a, a very high vibration. Yeah. And that will take us out of, you know, like, oh, you better get serious. This problem is really, it, it's really serious. You know, come on now, focus. <laughs> we got to <laughs> figure this out, you know. But that's the point of it is when we start playing and just goofing off and coloring or something silly, gardening or going for a walk, all of a sudden the, the anxiety around the problem can release and then the solution can appear. I've got like special tools that I use and teach people using cosmic and earth energies. But I think that's the thing is when we, I'm going to hold on to this problem with all my might and by God, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> well, no, and, and you bring it up uh, at, at actually the perfect time, uh, Amira, because, you know, I was wanting to ask you because time is running out uh, to go ahead and go through you know, some of what you do offer online at uh, AmiraHall.com. Great. Thank you. I have a free gift for everybody too. And that's my stress buster guided meditation can go to my website, AmiraHall.com and, and just sign up for that and download it and start today, just clearing, busting out some of these stuck programs and energies. I also have a, a free gift that I just put up the, yesterday on my YouTube channel on, you can find it on my blog on my website too. It's called divine abundance. So for people struggling with their perceived limitations, um, you know, it's a powerful 15 minute guided meditation to trigger and activate some flow. I, I do offer clairvoyant training and I have a life mastery. It's a chakra healing the eight major chakras and beyond. Um, so if they're guided mentoring programs for people who are ready to roll up their sleeves and, you know, kick the shit out of their program, <laughs> 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 I, you know, I kick ass and take names. So that's what we're all about. You know, seriously having fun in an honorable, you know, high vibration way. So. I love that. I love that. You are soul sister, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, this has just been an amazing show. And like Thank I said, you. listeners, just so you know, we will be having her back on. This was amazing. The time just went way too fast. I can't believe how quickly it went today. So it's just been the most amazing show. And we are so grateful that we found you and we will definitely be sending Shane um, a, a message saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, um, my, my we, gratitude also. Yep. <laughs> we know we're going to meet you in person. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure where we're going to be rolling down the road, but yeah, I see it too. 
<laughs> oh, and for anybody who wants to con- join me coming to Egypt this fall, um, that's a big, big, big window of opportunity to shift. We're going to be in the Great Pyramid on oh, the full yeah. moon eclipse on November Ooh. 7th. Yes, yes, oh, yes. That is going to be a powerhouse. Right? Yes, it is. Lord, yes. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Our guest today, we have just loved having Amira Hall on, the Reverend Amira Hall. Thank you very much. You can find out more about her at amirahall.com. And Amira, thank you, dear, for taking uh, time out of your Saturday to to grace us with your uh, presence and experience and and your wisdom. Thank you. My sincere pleasure. Thank you both very much. Uh, Oh, we we love you. you, And we will definitely have you back on. Someone in the chat room, Ariel, wanted to know, and I just, I don't know, but I said I'd ask. So uh, Ariel wanted to know if you can bring one of the Egyptian energies on.